Caddy, I need you to do this. That's what I do. So we had a call of concern because of all the things you were carrying, and you understand what's going on today. And that's why I need to see some sort of identification to see who I'm talking to. Because my memory from four years ago, I, I don't know. But I would appreciate it if you've got any form of identification. Yeah. And if I get a we have to have a matter of trust, and we have to find out who you are. Yeah. I tried this Fourth of July in Washington D.C. I said, look, if I can prove to you I have a sense of humor, or I have my feet on the ground, is that good enough? And the officer said, yeah. So I told him a joke, and he laughed. It was such a good joke. Then he said, I said, can you tell me a joke? And he told me a joke, and it was funnier than my joke, and then he left. <laughs> <laughs> and then later, his joke came true, because his joke was about a parrot. And the guy walks into the store, and uh, what is that? he's asked the pet shop owner about something, and the parrot says something. And finally, it is, is that all you can say? And, uh, and the guy says, is that all the parrot can say? And the parrot says, sick him. And the dog comes and jumps on the guy. <laughs> and sure enough, some bad cops later sick me and jumped on one of my outhouses. They were not interested in anything. They went through my stuff, stole some of my business cards. I have a video of the whole thing. It's really depressing. In Washington, D.C., our national capital, you guys ought to send two of your best officers to visit, if not to the recruiting office. I don't want a dog on me. Well, that's the problem. We got a sense of humor, but we need better. They got a whole bunch of young kids in there, trained them the way they wanted, claimed it was a matter of the pension retirement fund. They didn't hire any senior officers, all young JV guys, and trained them the way they want to do yeah. what they want. They're more like, yeah. you know, more like chain dogs than executive field officers, actually. So we need people like you to visit them. Well, here at Dartmouth, we're, we're not wanting to rough any feathers, we're not wanting to be pushy. So we do need to know who's on our campus. It's really important that we understand. It's a big day here. Yeah. So what form of identification do you have? If I have my passport, I have to show it to get into Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So I have to show it to go other places. Canada wouldn't let me in. They wouldn't? No. I have an identity theft in Modesto, California. And I have DLSV. What do you think of my memory? What do you think of my memory? I'm trying to let you smile to make you feel good about it. <laughs> Do you mind if I write your name down? Uh, please do. Visit my website while you're at it, dcdelegate.com. The reason these guys are coming here now is because I said I wanted to come to Dartmouth for the New Hampshire primaries. And so Hillary and Bill and John McCain all came up here that year. Had they been coming prior to that? Not much. Not much? Not much. So now it's pretty regular? Uh, I don't know. New Hampshire. You know, oh, they New come Hampshire. Every, every term. So before John and Hillary, oh, the oh, candidates absolutely. were coming to Dartmouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so I might oh, yeah. be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No, they 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 come every every time there's, there's uh, people are running. We so, always host debates here. Yeah. Since I've like, been here 27 years, every time there's a debate, we host it. Every time there's a debate, you host it here. So I'm wrong then. It wasn't because of my suggestion. Each one of the many, you know, we've got every one of them, but you know. They, we always give one. No, I didn't know. You no, I thought I was the only one who wanted to come to an out of the way intellectual place yeah. in the middle of New Hampshire. It always starts in New Hampshire. Yeah, and I thought they would go to Concord and yeah. Manchester and where the population centers were to get the votes. Well, Mr. Hale, okay. where are you living at now? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. The dogs wasn't enough to scare you away. Um. I have a website called goodcopstest.com. I try to work with them. It's like having three jobs. I try to do my own job. I'm unofficial mentor for the U.S. Capitol Police. They need more love. And I have the Islamic job that I do. So yep. I have three different jobs. Yep. Well, Mr. Hale, uh, do you have a ticket for the venue today? Not yet. You're working on it. Right. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. But when, when the time comes to like us.
Look, come into this venue. Don't be surprised if the police want to check you out. I would think they would. Sure. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, you're all set. I appreciate your honesty. And show me what I did. Okay. I prefer to have a sign from the supervisor here. I just checked. You're not in the lottery. You did not get get a ticket for the event tonight. And if people don't claim tickets, the ones that are left over might be lottery off at 6 p.m. by the restaurant. I hope to win that. Yeah, well, that, that's that's a chance you're going to take, but not right now. We're right, for four, four hours. Yeah, another four hours. That's why I'm on the batteries. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're all set, I guess. Yep. Except we we got to get the electrical department, the metal detectors, and the chemistry department. Uh, what they're doing in D.C. is the guy lets his dog go up and touch people with the nose of the He's dog. Coming. He's coming. Not in a second, but he'll be here. He should be six feet away. You should never touch another human being with your dog, even if you're a police officer. So totally aware of that. I don't know anything about it. I just about got arrested on the 4th of July because this guy let his dog touch a baby carriage with the nose, and I really got angry. I cursed him. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Hale, okay. while you're here, these next few hours, yeah. I appreciate it if you didn't like interrupt our students, cause no, any no. disturbance. Right. If there's any kind of disturbance that right. revolves around you, right. it's going to be more serious. Right. And we've got a thing called a letter of trespass. Uh -huh. And I would have to issue one. Good. You put it in writing? You put it in writing. It's better than and Harvard we, did. And we explain it. Good. And we have witnesses to it. I would like to learn more understand. about that so Harvard could adopt the same policy. They're so pompous, they just give a verbal warning and expect you to go to the campus. We'll give you a map of the campus to explain Humble. where you're allowed and where you're not Humble. allowed. Hallelujah. But you don't want to see it. Because you're pretty much out of the town of Hanover once you see it. Would you send a copy over to Captain to, McCall at the Harvard University Police? No, I'm not allowed to. No, we'll I'll ask her to call you then? You, you can, she speak. can ask her. Yep, okay. and you have her call. Speak, speak to our director. It's a okay. very well put out. Hallelujah, Dartmouth. And Hallelujah. explains what the requirements are. Hallelujah, Dartmouth. They came in a real Harvard cop, wrote a ticket for a car, and put it under the windshield wiper as I was leaving to show me they were disgusted at the way that those guys had behaved yeah. also. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, Mr. Hale. Okay. Okay, Bokeh, Thank hooray, you. what remains to be seen, one day of peace on earth. Appreciate it, Mr. Hall. Uh, really, uh, should I ask your name to be professional? Officer Teddy Willie. Yep. yep. I think I remember that. Are you ever too? Ask your supervisor if this cell phone battery ran out. I'm going to. Thank you, Officer Yep. Teddy I'll see you. God willing. Um, Episcopal marriages, Jerry Garcia. How, good morning is what they say. Ain't no extra fat on you, sir. Looking trim and fit. How are you? I had the worst case of a stomach virus yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Responding and seeking responses. I have a website, dcdelegate.com. 
This was a continuation of that. What's the purpose of the website? Uh, promote perfect union, establish justice, promote domestic yeah. tranquility, as we just witnessed here, a potentially explosive situation was diffused quite peacefully. Perhaps the defense. Officer Ken Kirby was yeah. having a man who was uh, very serious with that. He remembered me from uh, oh. here, but he wanted to see my deed. We talked about Moses and Moses. Thou shalt not worship any graven or engraven images or put them before God. So you're a religious person. Okay. Science and religion were brought up as not being so unsimilar by. Uh, Richard, the James Richard Perry here uh, on the Washington yeah, Post yesterday. Uh, and then there was a cosmology article like on the New York Times about universe down the bubbles and uh, PTL theory of voidism. Um, I think so, several is going to be the Religiously, yeah, if you're alive, I think you Every fine. Saturday, he um, religiously but, knows the uh, line wearing the Pope's hat. Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> it's like we have to start to the end here. Listen, and you're there keep up the good work. Uh, yeah, religious means yeah. regular. Did you be okay? Regular. Science is uh, religious in a sense that you regularly test your yeah, so hypothesis in like, no certain ways. I guess that's my I, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, was about that to get like a yeah. 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 And God is the 100% of the ultimate control of the earth that we can hear in the very last week. God is the 100% independence, the ultimate control to which he can bear the dependencies of us of everyone. So that is the sign for the dog. What a lot of words for me. Or do uh, prayers. Yeah. 